Concrete. Some people love it, some people hate it. Either way, nowadays you can find it everywhere. In this video, I'm going to talk about brutalism and how concrete became so popular over the last decades. So keep watching this video to find out. Concrete has a long history. It was widely used by ancient Romans 600 BC until today. But it's not until lately that it became the ultimate lifestyle concept. Lately, concrete has found its way into every aspect of our lives, from flower pots, worktops, and speakers to jewelry and even perfume. In this video, I want to talk about concrete spaces and architecture. So why has this harmful building material become so attractive? The answer is found in the definition of brutalism. Brutalism is a style of architecture in post-war era which emerged in 1950. This style used rigid geometry and exposed concrete, which was criticized because of its unwelcoming and inhuman personality. From 1970 to 1990, this style was depopularized. In 1990, architects tried to redefine the basic meaning of architecture. That was the time when exposed concrete regained its popularity and brutalism basically returned. Concrete was praised over the previous style because of its purity, honesty, and simplicity of expression. This raw material allowed architects to create unlimited numbers of forms freely. On the other hand, critics still despised concrete. They said it's gritty, rigid, and monotonic. Besides that, concrete embodied spirit of socialism. It represented an era in which architecture was reduced to industrial buildings and large-scale schools, hospitals, and prisons, an era associated with crime, social deprivation, and urban decay. Anyways, concrete creates feeling of optimism and generosity to some and violence and misery to others. Using concrete in designing interiors not only cuts the building prices down, but also provides us with more space by eliminating some elements like suspended ceilings. But using concrete has a downside too. Concrete production has a catastrophic impact on our environment. 8% of carbon dioxide emission is produced by cement factories. And also concrete waste makes up to one-fourth of all landfill. Barnabas Calder, historian of post-war architecture and author of the book Raw Concrete, suggests that we should mostly focus on preserving and reviving what's already there, rather than destroying and rebuilding concrete structures. So in this video, we talk about brutalism, and we analyze why concrete is so much adored nowadays, and we also mention uh, its environmental effect in our world. So thanks for watching, and take care.